Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Tech Tejendra. We are now at the part 10 of our OpenShift containers and Kubernetes tutorial series. In this part, we will learn how to deploy monthly container application using the template. Okay, so let me go ahead. So these are the steps we are going to follow in this tutorial, okay? So what we are going to do, basically, we will create two container of our application. One container would be having the MySQL database server. And once we will, we will create this MySQL container, we will also attach the uh, permanent, means persistent volume with the MySQL server also, okay? And uh, then uh, we will create another container with the application and application code would be written in the Node.js, okay? And this is this will be kind of the front end as well as the REST API, okay? So user will connect to the Node.js either through uh, any uh, REST API client or through the browser, okay? And uh, then our Node.js container will connect to the MySQL container, okay? So in this way, I will demonstrate to you how this multi-container environment, environment work uh, will work into the OpenShift cluster. Okay, so what we are steps what we are going to follow is step one, create the MySQL image. Okay, then we will push this image, my our own created MySQL image into the QA.io uh, image registry. Next step, we will create Node.js image. Okay, this Node.js would be having the Node.js runtime as well as the uh, no our application code of Node.js. Okay, and uh, then again uh, this image we will also again push into the Qa.io image registry. And then at step five, that is the most important one, create the template and then deploy at the template. So what is template here? You can uh, think template uh, in term of the packaging of the OpenShift applications, like in the enterprise environment, uh, application are having uh, more than one containers. Okay, some application might having hundred of containers uh 150 containers kind of right so means you know the microsoft microservice architecture right so uh, there might be a number of containers and in each container a different set of application might be running right in some containers having database some containers are having microservices microservice written are different languages kind of okay so uh template once we will create the template we will um, it is it is a kind of uh, um, language to say OpenShift cluster, okay, that we need to create these, 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 these uh, um, um, uh, containers first, okay, and uh, the containers will receive uh, the um, uh, image from uh, this repositories, okay, this is the repository URL from which this container require image, uh, okay, so all these things we can define into the template. And uh, then we can also define more rules in the templates, kind of uh, service, kind of route, okay? All these uh, rules we can also apply it into the template. So it is a single unit. Now template is the single unit containing the multiple services, multiple routes and multiple containers. And once we will deploy this template, then means our whole, whole application will be deployed, okay? With multiple containers. That's why we need template and it is a very important concept to understand in OpenShift. So let me go ahead here. Let me first show you my code base here. Okay. So what we are going to use, it is my uh, GitHub uh, repository. You can go and access this code also. It is a public repository. So here in the image section inside MySQL, this is the Docker file for the MySQL. It is, it is having nothing. It's just having a one line and uh, it is getting the base image from the RHS, uh, RHSCL uh, MySQL 5.7, right? That's all, very simple Docker file. Uh, let me move to the Node.js one. This is my Node.js and it is also a very simple uh, Docker file, it's just getting uh, base image as UBI 7. Okay, UBI means universal base image. It is for Red Hat. Uh, okay, Red Hat Linux. And uh, then these are the environment variables and it's doing nothing, just uh, installing the Node.js. Okay, just it is installing the Node.js. That's all. And it, it is the base means uh, base of the Node.js. It is a Node.js package only. Okay, and application code for Node.js, it is, it is in the different folder. Okay, let me show you in the deployment. Okay, deploy Node.js. So it is having my uh, application code. Okay, if I show you the Docker file here, 
Okay, so uh, this is the base Node.js image, and then top of it we will having our code. Okay, code and everything inside it. Uh, let me also show you uh, the build.ss file. Okay, this file we are going to execute. Okay, and then it will uh, run this Podman build command. Okay, and will uh, generate our Node.js uh, uh, image. Okay, so. Uh, that is the one and uh, this is the template okay if i open this template then you can see here is a long template you can see and multiple things it is doing i will explain this template to you later not uh, in the beginning part of the tutorial to make you confuse okay let first we go step by step and once we uh, about to deploy the template and about to create the template then i will explain you how this template will work okay and how to write the template okay template you can write in two way this template i have written in the json format okay you can also write the template in the yaml format also so let me first copy uh, the URL of our uh, repository and we first clone it here. This is my AWS machine having Red Hat Linux and it is also having installed Podman. Okay, uh, OC client is also installed here. So um, we will use this machine for this tutorial. Okay, so let me first clone our repository here. Okay. Let's go inside it. Here you can see I have received, I have got all the code and content here from the repository in my local machine, okay. So step by step, let me, let me try to do, okay? So first step was to create the MySQL image and then push this MySQL image into the QA.io, okay? So let me first, first these two steps, okay? So let me go inside our uh, uh, MySQL image uh, directory. Okay, and here you can see it is, we are having this Docker file as I have shown you earlier. Okay, so let me create our image using the Podman. Okay, so let me first log into the uh, registry. Okay, then we will run it again. Okay, so our login is success. Now we again build. Okay, now it has been started. So it is first building the MySQL image. Okay, we are now at the step one. And once we are doing this, we are also giving the tag name. Okay, so the tag name is this. Okay. So it has been created. Let me also see the images. Pseudo Podman images. Okay, this one is our latest MySQL image we just created. Okay, so the next step is to uh, log into the query.io because we need to push our image inside the query.io repository. Okay, so now we are logging to the query.io. Okay, our login is success. So now, first we have to give the proper tag name, only then it will allow us to uh, Post our uh, image into the QA.io. Okay, so now let me post. Okay, pseudo Podman post inside this. So it is now currently posting. 
our image into the ko.io image registry okay so till now we have completed these two steps step one create the mysql image and in step two post the mysql image to ko.io okay now we will start working on the step three so for step three first we need to create the node.js image okay so let we go inside the node.js directory if i show you here here is our docker file okay so uh, first create the base image here okay it is executing our docker file docker file i have already shown you okay once this image get created then we will okay so this is the base image okay as i show you so in the tag you can see it is the base image for the node.js okay and now top of this base image now we will uh, create and post all our application code okay and then we'll create a new image okay so at the top of the layer it will be our application so we will create the new image and then we will push this new image into the qa.io so this has been completed if i show you the images uh, sorry yep so you can see here the latest image just now we have created and um, sorry now we go inside the top lawyer directory where our application code exists okay so here it is the docker file and it is the build.ss file as i shown you before okay so let me execute the build.ss file and as i told you this build.ss file having all the command and from inside this build.ss file we are going to execute our docker file and what it will do it will get all the code okay so here we are having our course node.js so in the node.js source directory i am not going inside the application code okay so application you can write in any language like in java php whatever you want okay so i am just uh, uh, trying to be concentrate only the the open shift and the clustering part and how to create the container okay so um, um just i am giving you some idea okay that uh, this build.ss file will copy all the code into the required directory and then uh, and then it will call the docker file uh, with the portman command and will create the new um, uh, new image okay top of top of this top of uh, top of this image okay so let me execute uh, build dot sh. Sorry, what is happening? Okay, as you can see, it has starting. It has started. Okay. Creating the file. Okay, so it's done now. If I show again the images, now here you can see. Okay, it is our application image to to node uh, node yes. So now we need. So this image is having. Uh, this image node.js image as a base and top of it we create this image with our application code and another we are having is the our mysql image okay so now let me push this newly created image also in our qa.io the node.js image okay all this command i will also paste into the description field of my YouTube video. And now let me push. Okay. 
okay so till now we have created these four steps we have created another image and in step four now we are pushing this image into us okay so by the time it is pushing the image let me let me now go to the template part okay as i told you that i will let you know and i will uh, go through the template um, um, uh, later right so this is our template okay so from beginning if you can see kind okay kind so kind template okay version and other information you can uh, give here okay this is the most uh, important part the objects okay and in this object what we are so uh, we can create multiple uh, multiple things inside this object one thing kind pod okay so now what we are going to do we are creating a pod and the pod name would be the mysql okay and from where it will get its image it will get its image from the qa.io then the username username we will give uh, as a parameter once we will execute the uh, once we will execute this template okay and uh, this is the image okay so here i will replace this value with my name ts rana which is my uh, qa QA, QA account ID, QA.io account ID. Okay, and from here it will receive the uh, receive the uh, latest image which we just pushed into the QA.io account. Okay, in the previous step, previous step one, step two. Okay, and then once this image get created, it will set all the user ID, password, okay, database name, okay, database name would be my SQL and everything it will set. Okay, then here is the volume. Okay, as I told you, we are going to uh, create and assign the volume to the my sql okay so here is the persistent volume as i told you we are going to create the persistent volume uh, for the my sql and this step we are doing it once it's finished then it will create another pod with the name to do api to do api okay this to do api is our node.js application with the with the node.js package okay and uh, it is see here okay it is getting the image from where from qa.io slash i will replace this thing with the my name ts rana okay which is my qa account name and then here okay so the um, uh, in previous step step number three and step four we pushed our image into the qa.io okay once all these things were done okay then uh then we are creating kind service okay we are creating the service okay one service for 2d api one service for my sql and then here is the our persistent volume claim okay and finally the list of parameters okay so currently in this template we are going to use only one parameter which is the this qa user okay so once we will execute this template we'll try to run this template we are going to uh, give our username uh, qa qa.io QA username at the time of running this template okay so let me see our uh, uh, uh image has been pushed successfully into the qa.io so next task is to now create the template okay so for creating the template first we need to move inside the directory where our uh, template is exists so this is our directory and if i show you this is our to do template.json okay as i told you you can write create your write your uh, 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 template either in json or either in yaml file okay and oc process okay oc process is the uh is the command okay to create the template okay template is kind of json format then inside the open you need to create the template so oc process then this is the file name uh, with the hyphen f okay to do template.json okay and this is the parameter as i told you at the time of creating the template we are going to assign the um, the um, uh, the parameter okay parameter name okay so this is the qa.io and it is ts rana my qa account name and then we will create okay this is the pipe and we are going to create our application our template and it will deploy the uh, template as well okay so once we execute it, it is giving us the problem. 
using non um, groupified API resource removed in. Okay, so it has been created. Okay, fine. So let me see the status. Okay, what is the pod status and everything by using OC get pod command. Okay, so here you can see it is giving some error as of now. Let we wait for some time. No, it is getting some error. It is not able to pull. Okay. Okay, so uh, I am inside the QA.io. Okay, and uh, let me make this image public. Okay, because this image is not public. So that's why it is causing the error. So let me make this image public first. So now my this image is public. Okay, now the lock has been uh, is not uh, currently displaying here. Okay, same way, let me go inside the uh, Node.js image and also let me make it public, okay? Good. So now let me go here and see it again if Let me see if, see if it can take it now. Projects, let me try to install it in our other, other project, okay? So let me choose OC project code. Okay, uh, now we have changed our project. Okay, and then from inside this project, let me try to run our template, okay? Okay, and now let me see the status of our pods. Okay, now it seems working because, okay? So what we did after pushing our um, image registries uh, inside uh, uh, the QA.io, okay, then we went to the QA.io again. And uh, then uh, we make them public, okay? Currently, these were, by default, these were the private one. That's why it was not fetching, uh, uh, fetching the repository because we did not to uh, assign and uh, give our credential uh, qa.io in the template. That's why it is not fetching the image. So we made them publicly available. And after making this change, now it uh, is starting, uh, it's starting um, uh, creating the uh, pods, okay? So you can see here, pod is currently uh, running state, okay? So both the both of our application pod is in running state. Okay, means uh, the uh, Node.js application as well as our database. Okay. So next step would be to expose the service. Okay. Or let me expose the service. Okay, so our service has been exposed now. Okay, let me see the OC status. So you can see it is our MySQL. Okay, and uh, uh, this one for MySQL. And uh, this is the endpoint. Okay, this one is the endpoint for our to do api okay so you can copy this endpoint from here okay because it has been created route now okay or you can also try oc 
uh, get route command okay from here you can see we have created uh, a route also okay this this one to do api okay right so either way you can copy this endpoint here and let then we go back to our browser to access our api and run this yes okay so our application is working here you can see okay then you need to give uh, the context of your application so in our case the context of our application is to do okay and then once we will execute so let's see okay so our application is working very well okay our uh, node.js application as well as the mysql database both are working so if i add try to add something here let and let me shave it so let's so these values are being saved into the database mysql database and database is attached with a persistent volume okay so we have uh, complete all these uh, steps here and demonstrate the application so we have completed this part thanks everyone